year, over 400 million tons of more or less wet organic waste are produced in France. To support the success of the energy transition and the development of a local circular economy, at least 150 million tons of those waste, poorly or not valued at all, can be mobilized in order to be transformed into renewable and low-carbon gas. Hydrothermal gasification is one of the main innovative solutions supported by GRT Gas. It is particularly well suited for pumpable waste, whose dry matter content contains a maximum of carbon, such as organic waste from industrial activities, digestate not valorized locally from methanization units, organic agricultural waste including livestock manure, organic urban waste including sewage sludge from water treatment plants. Hydrothermal gasification is based on a thermochemical conversion. Units are compact, modular and easily adaptable to any kind of structure. Inside the plant, the organic waste is compressed to 210 to 350 bar and heated up to 360 to 700 degrees Celsius. The salt separator stage removes all inorganic solids such as metals and minerals including phosphorus and potassium which are highly sought after to cover agriculture needs. Gasification allows to reach a very high conversion of carbon and production of a gas rich in methane, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. The remaining liquid phase after gas separation is composed of nitrogen-rich water which is also valuable. This 24-hour day process can convert organic waste into gas in a few minutes. Energy efficiency is high thanks to a very efficient heat process recovery. The high-pressure output gas is upgraded and injected as a low-carbon or renewable gas into the GRT gas grid, substituting imported natural gas. It can also be delivered to a bio-CNG station. Hydrothermal gasification provides an alternative solution to landfill and to incineration, which are inefficient for effluents and waste composed by water. The overall renewable and low-carbon gas potential output from this technology is estimated to reach at least 2 terawatt-hours by 2030 and 50 terawatt-hours per year by 2050, with first operational facilities running in France by 2026. Hydrothermal gasification completes other innovative renewable and low-carbon gas production technologies. It contributes to the success of the energy transition with decentralized energy production and local recovery of organic waste.